Hello fans, and welcome back to my world. I'm your host, and this is the first episode of Championship Recap. A series in which we will follow a certain stadium tour, which there will be a poll for next year, and go over the highlights, interesting notes, carnage analysis, and results of each event. As the title suggests, we will be starting with the final stadium red event before World Finals 22 in Nashville, and this event is not four points. Cleveland, Ohio home of Monster Jam University, where drivers are taught how to rise to the performance we saw last week. For racing, we have some great action. The first was two Gravedigger drivers, Cole Bernard and Adam Anderson, going head-to-head, -head, with Adam winning by a whole shot from Gravedigger against the Black Pearl. Speaking of Cole's truck, I really love the retro Chevy look for the hood. It really looks sleek, especially compared to the hideous tailgate. Making it to the semi-finals will be Velociraptor, Mohawk Warrior, El Toro Loco, and Gravedigger. The Velociraptor fill-in, Corey Rummel, would make Travis proud by keeping Bryce Kenny from winning two straight racing runs in a row while Jamie Garner would impressively dominate the black and green wrecking machine. The final race was for Garner's second racing win this season, or Corey Rungel to win a competition he wasn't even meant to compete in. This ironic result would not come to pass, and the Crazy Bull would take home its second worst stadium racing win. But with the points already finished in Foxborough, it doesn't really matter. To start off the skills challenge, Fill in Michael Pagliarulo would disappoint Matt by failing a sidewinder, not obtaining enough momentum to even get the move going, earning him the lowest fan score I've ever seen. Taking a look at the top spots for the challenge, in fifth place was Camden Murphy and Bakugan Dragon Knight, with a popper and nose really up the main ramp, followed by another popper into a long moonwalk. Bryce Kinney lands in fourth with a popper into a fast paced moonwalk across the entire track followed by another shorter popper moonwalk, this time pulling it onto his rear wheels on an obstacle. First of the top three, we have Jamie Garner with a crazy cyclone, which I must say was one of the most impressive I've seen, which was honestly better than the winners. Runner-up goes to the King of Carnage, with, as usual, a maximum moonwalk, then a much more impressive momentum moonwalk, all the way into another obstacle, popping it into a wheelie before bringing it down. And earning his sixth stadium skills victory of the season would be Adam Anderson with a pretty good cyclone. Though, I wouldn't say it deserves the win over a momentum moonwalk. Starting freestyle will be the all new Velociraptor truck, today driven by Corey Rummel, kicking it off with some decent air and a landed backflip, setting the bar with a strong 8.588. Corey would once again make Travis Mowry proud by ending up in 6th place, bottom of the upper crust, not being beaten until Michael Pagliarulo would make up for his poor skills performance by airing it out and landing the backflip of the night in 2nd place. He would stay in the hot seat for quite some time before being beaten by his more experienced brother in Kraken, Nick Pagliarulo, who would get the air and save the night along with his consistent flow of momentum without the need for a backflip, showing a bit of maturing in the fans judging freestyle. Many runs would try to take this victory away from him, including Bryce Kinney with an amazing sky willy, Tom Mintz making it third with a great backflip and a stunning stoppy, and even Adam Anderson and his biased fans with cyclones and a perfect slap really could only drive the black and green wrecking machine to fourth place. And by the end, none of them could steal his third stadium freestyle win this year in the last stadium freestyle win of the tour. With those results out of the way, let's get on to today's carnage analysis. We will start with a backflip from Black Pearl. So when he hits the flip, he lands on his rear wheels and the way he does bounces him towards the wall protection and sits sideways onto it, leaning on it just right so that it kept him from being able to pull out of it. Next is another backflip from Soldier Fortune. When she goes for it, the truck turns sideways in midair causing her to fall on the left wheels without enough momentum for her to pull out of it. After her, we have a bad rebound from Megalodon. So when he lands from his huge air, he is slightly tilted towards the left wheels, causing the truck to rebound the other way, land on the front sway bar, twisting it so he'd roll over, losing the dorsal fin. By the way, this run would put Leduc in fifth place. Last, but not least, we have the last hit of the night from Gravedigger. 
when he drove through the cross thread, he rode a wheelie down the ramp and accidentally pogoed it at the bottom, sending it sideways for him to land hard on the left side of the roof. That'll be it for Carnage Analysis, and it for the video. This was the last series red event of the tour, and the champion of it all is, as usual, Adam Anderson in Gravedigger. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button so I know. If you want to see highlights from Selena's from the Blue Tour, which will not earn the driver's points, then hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when it comes out. And without further ado, be great, stay awesome, ride.